Well, this is Dr. Dan from Access Analog, and today we're going to go through our standalone application. When you download our installer from the website, not only are you getting the various plugin formats like VST and VST3, but you're getting our standalone application called Analog Matrix. The unique thing about this is that it doesn't require a DAW to run. It's going to run all by itself, just as, an, as we said, as a standalone application. And it's very similar. If you've used our plugin, it has a lot of the same tabs that you've uh, used in the past, but there are a few options and that's what I'm going to point out, a little changes. So this first button in the upper left is the settings. And this is important because it tells our application how to interface with your computer. So the first thing you need to do is set up the output. Uh, usually I set up to speakers of some kind. Uh, you can hopefully set the input to none. However, there are cases that if you set the output to a device that contains an input, you might be forced to select that same input uh, with that same device. And if that's the case, just make sure you mute this audio so that you don't get any feedback on the input. The next thing is set the active output. Make sure you have this one checked, one and two, so that you've got a stereo output pair. The next step is the sample rate. And I always set, I have for me, I always use 441K for my transmit format to the server because that's what my files are usually set up as 441K. And in order to minimize any kind of resampling, I want to set this sample rate to be the same thing. Audio buffer size is analogous to a DAW block size, so set that to however many samples you want processed at a time. And then you're good with the setup. Then once we get it set up, people will say, okay, what would be the ideal use for the standalone application? When might I want to use that? And the first one I'll show you is with the uh, mastering rig. Once you have done your mixing and gotten a stereo pair and you're ready to do your mastering, a DAW doesn't really buy you much. So you can watch our video to see how to do playback from server and you can load that stereo pair and then using the stop and start buttons, you can play the audio from the server and modify the gear, whoops, excuse me, and modify the gear so that you've got the settings the way that you want and do the mastering using the application. Like I said, a DAW doesn't really buy you much. So that's the first way to use it. The second way to use it is this on this bounce tab. This is a feature that's unique to the standalone application and it's called multi-file or our batch processing. And to go through it quickly, what it'll allow you to do is select a bunch of files. In this case, I'm gonna select all these. And instead of, let's say you wanted to use the mastering rig to bounce a whole bunch of files with using the exact same settings, but you didn't want to have to load it, bounce, load it, bounce. You want to just get all these files loaded up and then walk away and have a go have a cup of coffee. That's what the batch processing allows you to do. So now if I press this, what's going to happen is the file got uploaded and is now being bounced. And that bounced output file will go to wherever you told our application, and I'll show you that line in a second, of where to download files. So this file is getting bounced, and then it's automatically going to go to the next file, and now you don't have to do anything. So hopefully that makes sense about the how a bounced how uh, batch processing works in order to bounce a bunch of files. And as I mentioned, I'm going to close this, all those bounced files will go to your wherever location, in my case I have it at the desktop, they will go to the location where you have the download to set at. All right, another use of the standalone application is with our summing unit, and I have a nice video on how to use summing with um, our plugin, and it applies equally here to the standalone application. The, the basics being that you don't have enough uh, internet capacity to stream 16 channels all at one time to the summing unit, so you might as well do it with the standalone application. Just upload everything and do it there. And then the last one I'll show you that people like to use this for is just a, a quick rebounce. So in my case, I always, when I do a bounce and I have an output file, I capture my uh, settings so that I can recall those later. And uh, if you haven't seen our presets video, I would encourage you to watch that because that'll explain what I just did. But let's say a customer that I delivered an output said it wasn't right and they wanted to make some changes. I reload the preset that I used for that bounce, and then I upload my source, and I'm able to then do a quick rebounce here after I've changed the settings. Maybe I, I make some tweaks, 
uh, you know, whatever it is, change the frequency. And then I can go back and do my bounce like it's described in the offline bounce video and uh, get it back to them quick. Um, and I don't have to load up my DAW and do all that. So it's just more convenient. So those are the four ways we use the uh, standalone application. Hopefully those all make sense. Feel free to shoot me an email at dan at accessanalog.com if you have more questions. And as we like to say at Access Analog, from our racks to your tracks, Access Analog.